It's Joe, and this is my next project. Hey, check this out. We're making these sea pearling pieces that I made last week, and I showed you this one that had this gap in it right here. I don't know if you can see that exactly, but it's a little gappy right here, which is not, not a whole lot to worry about. This thing's gonna sit on the car about like that. And look at the top right here too. This part is kind of sticking out a little bit this way. And I'm gonna take a torch and I'm gonna heat it here and here and here. I'm gonna heat it a few places on this corner and we're gonna see if I can pull this out of it right through here. I'm gonna see if I can get that to go back under there. And I'm gonna put you up here where you can see the whole shooting match. And what if I change the focus a little bit? Oh, that would be how about like that? How about like that? All right, I can't tell if it's done anything or not, but what they say is you have to wait and let it cool all the way off. We're really not working on this gap. We're really working on this gap, trying to get it to pull in. And it, they say it doesn't do it until you get all the way cooled off. And we'll see. We'll look at it again in the morning. We'll see. Uh, thanks. All right, now it's Saturday morning, and I'm gonna tell you what happened last night. You saw the video that we made last night where we heated it up a little on this corner, on the edge, several places, and I told you they had to let it, they said in the video that I watched that you have to let this go back to room temperature. And I did that pretty much. It wasn't completely room temperature, but it was down, you could touch it. And I didn't think it did very good. So I came back and I heated it in a V like this. Right in here, you can see where it kind of rusted the metal there. There. And what I was trying to do was shrink this area here. And look what it did. <laughs> that thing sat down on there just pretty as you please. It pulled in. It's not sticking out anymore. That just worked. And I'll tell you what to Google. You Google up flame straightening. And these guys, they flame straighten giant bridge beams that trucks hit. It's just fascinating. And they, anyway, look at it. They can pull metal all around. They use it in shipbuilding a lot. I'm not building any ships, but I'll tell you what. This worked. Now all I have to do, I have to build another one of these and one thing they say is don't let it warp in the first place. Well, duh, <clears throat> I'm saying duh now, but I let this one warp. So maybe I've learned a little bit. Maybe we've all learned a little bit. Well, I'm going to reinforce this one and build it just like I did the other one. And then I'm gonna come back and build some 
a little bracket where we can bracket it onto this and get a little further down the road. I'll be right back. Well, heat and metal, metal and heat. That's what we're talking about, a little flame straightening, nothing to it. Touch this with a little flame here, set right down on it. And I built this other piece just like I told you I was gonna build. And it had a little gap here too. And I touched it with a little heat and it got a little bigger. And then I took it off and took it over to the bench and tried to bend it straight. And I heated it some more and then I heated it again. And I, <laughs> I must have heated that thing six times. And I don't think I'm any smarter now about heat straightening or flame straightening than I was when we started. But it's an interesting subject and I wish you'd look it up. And I finally got it to sit down on there and it's usable. And trust me, brother, I ain't touching it no more. <laughs> I've had enough of heat straightening. I hope I don't have to do that anymore, but I am interested in the subject and it's amazing what they can do. You should look it up. Hey, thanks for tuning in.